Hey guys, how's it going? Paul here with eSwin SEO. I just wanted to make you a short video uh, going over your site and showing you a few tips on how to improve your online presence with citations, backlinks, and content. Um, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I have your website pulled up right here. Uh, it's a decent little website. Um, I will say you got your phone number up here, but however, it is not a click to call. It would be nice to have a button where you just click on that number and it immediately pulls up a call option. Uh, same thing with a call to action form. Those are always good to have right up at the top somewhere in your website. Also, I'm not sure what all the spaces over here on your website and what, what the reason it's doing that for I'm not sure um, you might want to you know configure it so it can fit full screen um, also you don't have a whole lot of content on your on your front page which is definitely something you want to have uh, Google likes content that's what they want to see they are going to send crawlers through your website um, it's gonna crawl all your content all the words all the pictures what they're saved as um, and that's gonna, they're gonna look for keywords that, you know, t uh, go are uh, about your business, um, what you offer, where your services areas are, and that's gonna tell them, you know, whether or not you're a professional in your industry, and it's gonna help you, you know, rank higher on Google. So if we go to a Google uh, search for plumbers in Port Charlotte, which would be an example of a keyword. So keyword is going to be anything that somebody's going to put into Google uh, searching for a business or a service. So plumbers Port Charlotte is an example of that. Um, and what comes up here, the first thing you're going to see are ads. Um, ads are a great way to bring in some customers. Uh, if you run a good ad campaign, next thing down here, you're going to see the map pack is what we call these top three right here. Um, and this is going to be your Google business profile. And that has a lot to do with uh, citations. So citations are going to be any form of your business name, uh, number, address exactly as it is on your Google business profile put into online directories and those can be anything from Yelp, Yellow Pages, etc. Um, and the more of those you have out there, um, the better it's going to be, the better chances uh, it is for your Google business profile to end up here on this top three map pack. And I can tell you right now that these three guys right here get a lot of the business um, from the Google search results because they're the first the first thing that people see when they come down here. Um, and then after that, you're going to see the organic search results down here. So if we take a look, uh, we got a directory. Directory is Angie's List and Yelp. They're not really a big deal. Um, Charlotte Plumbing is going to be the first one that comes up. And it looks like you guys are down here. So you got a little ways to go before you get up at that top. And it's the same rules apply. Um, the higher up you are on the Google search results, the more customers you know, you're going to attract because it's just easier for them to get to unless they're searching for your specific company by name. Um, so if we take a look at Charlotte Plumbing, they have a decent website as well. Um, they have, you know, some pictures behind. They do have a click to call button right up front. They have all their social media, uh, their directions, email, click to call. It looks like you can log in as a customer so you can get accounts with them. Um, they got their service pages. They don't have a ton of content either. But they do have some keywords in here that they're being found for. So if we take a look at them in a tool that I use called AREFs, um, it just shows me how websites performing. I can look at it, see how much uh, stuff they got going on. If we take a look right here at this UR and DR, these are two important things you want to uh, pay attention to. Uh, UR is going to be a trust rating in Google's eyes and uh, DR rating is going to be the power, how much uh, power your website is getting. Um, so they have, you know, they have a little bit 
of power. They have a little bit of trust. They're kind of in close ratio with each other, which is where you want to be. Um, they are running 32 referring domains, giving them 133 backlinks, which is giving them, you know, about 113 people showing up to the website. Um, or not 113, 113 keywords that they're being shown for, giving them about 176 traffic. So that's about how many people are, you know, going to the website a month. Um, and if we take a look at their organic keywords, we can see there's a lot of keywords that they're being found for right up on the front page. So if we look at this volume here, that's about how many people are searching for that specific keyword uh, you know, per month. So that's a lot. Look, 700 uh, volume right here. That's a lot of uh, potential clients that are coming to their website. And they got Plumbing Port Charlotte, Florida. They got 100. They got 150, 50. So it just goes on. All these numbers add up. So the more of these keywords that are showing up on their first page on and, and on the first, you know, the first page of the Google rankings, you know, they're the more clients that they're potentially going to get through that. If we take a look at yours, you have a low DR and a low UR, which, you know, that's not bad. They're in close ratio with each other. That's great. I mean, the point is to get those numbers up as high as possible. You want to obviously outdo your uh, competitors. Um, and another thing about backlinks, um, backlinks are exactly, you know, that they're a link going back to your website from either another website or maybe a comment blog or something like that. Um, example would be if there was a comment blog about plumbing and someone, you know, mentions your guy's name, Hey, preferred plumbing, Florida.com. They're awesome. They do great work. You know, you should go check them out. And then they have a, they drop a link or a button that leads back to your website. And you know, that's a backlink. So the more of those that you have that are, uh, quality backlinks, are going to give you more power and trust in, in Google. You, you don't want to have too many spammy looking backlinks because that tends to hurt your UR rating and that will drop you in the Google rankings. So if we take a look and see your uh, keywords, which you're being found for only 45, which I mean, that's still good, but they're running at 175, I said, I think it was. take a look here 114 so 114 keywords that they're being found for so you guys have preferred plumbing preferred plumbing now the volume here is 1600 that's a lot yes but that's not necessary that's probably a nationwide search so people whoever you know in the united states they're searching for if they search preferred plumbing it's going to show up and it's on position nine which is you know, a few pages back on Google. So it's not showing up. You want to look for, uh, you know, buyer intent keywords like Port Charlotte Plumbing is a good one, but you're also in position eight. So it's because you're lacking that content on your front page. So if we can get all these keywords right here, look, 150, 150, 150. If we could move these up to a, a number one or number two position by putting, you know, content on your front page that's definitely going to help you guys out and you know overtaking that number one spot and that's obviously going to bring you guys a lot more clientele it's gonna you know bump up your revenue and it's going to give you more money um so if we're looking back the way you want to do that is you want to have 1500 words of keyword rich content on your front page so that gives you, you know, all these keywords are going to be found uh, when people search Google, and that's going to give you a way better chance of being uh, bumped up to that first spot. You're going to have citations, so your business name, number, and address put into online directories as much as you can, and you want to have quality backlinks, you know, linking back to your website. So with all that stuff working together, and once they start, you know, clicking, that's going to move you guys up to that, you know, number one position, um, on the Google search results. So with that being said, I do appreciate you guys taking your time to check out this video. Uh, here's my contact information. Um, feel free to reach out to me. I hope this video was of, you know, some value to you and you can take some, of, you can take some of these tips and use them yourself. Uh, thank you again and have a great day.